this is Lance from Lance's Vado Vlog. I'm back with another video. So we have this 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera 4S. And we did, this is a beautiful car. It's all orange with the black wheels. And what we did in this car is we did a full system upgrade and using the OEM screen, the OEM radio. So it might be a little dark in here, but in this car, we did, like I said, a, a factory upgrade for the whole system. Well, we did obviously Hertz speakers in this case. Uh, that's what we decided to go with. So we put Hertz milli tweeters in the top, ML 703.3s in the doors, ML 1650.3s running uh, in the mid base drivers, uh, Prima 4 inch in the rear, and a full custom box back here. Whoops. With two eight inch woofers in a flat box. So it's a custom box, two eight inch woofers firing up, going up the factory system. Uh, so in this system here, we did we did a three way crossover on here. Um, use it, and we also the interface this car. We also use the nav TV interface that was underneath the seat here. So we pulled the factory amplifier, uh, put the nav TV piece in. And we ran it optical into our DSP. And in our DSP, we crossed over the tweeters at about 3,000 3, hertz, kilohertz. And then we did a band pass on the mid range at 3,000 to about 300. And then we did the mid bass drivers, which I did a little differently on it. I did those at about 3,000 to 60, or I'm sorry, 70 hertz. And we crossed over the sub at 70 hertz at 24 db so everything was done at 24 db per octave and what we did was we kind of reduced the mid-range a little bit so we would have a little better focus on the system itself because in the door location that's a really really bad location for a speaker so what happens is if you put your body in this seat here and you sit there you'll be completely blocking the mid-range and the customer wanted a three-way we you know without remodifying the car because we put a tweeter in the mid there did something custom uh but he wanted to look the same and he wanted a three-way so we kept the system the way it was and we gave them a three-way but we just reduced that level a little bit so that blended more with that so the timing was better so we just had to reduce the signal a little bit it was a little tricky but we got it to sound really nice um so what i'll do is i'll show you the trunk so it's a, like i said it's a sick orange uh, and then here's what we did like i said this is the trunk piece itself. So if you're looking at it, you got your Audison Bit Nove running your whole system with an SR4300, 4500, and a 5.1500. 5, 5, so the 4300 is running the tweeters and the rear speakers. I'm sorry, the tweeters in the mid. Then we did the 4500 running the mid bass and the rear speakers. And what we did was reduce the signal considerably on the rear speakers to make it so it sounded really good. And then we did the 500 run of the two eights in the back. And this car itself really gets on it when it comes down to it. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll slide the fact panel over the cover because he want he didn't want to see anything. Like I said before, we do stuff where the customer doesn't want to see anything we do to the car. So what we did was we built the panel that slides in like that, and you can't see anything. So, like I said, 2020 Porsche 911 Carrera 4S, orange. With a full Audison Hertz system. Uh, the woofers are flat 8 inch Audison 8s, which, like I said, they sound really, really good. What I'll do is I'll give you a quick demo of the system. Um, and let's see if we can get it to sound the way we should. We should. Hang on one second. Yeah. 